So today we are doing a review of what you are asking. I will tell you now. Ha ha ha! Reviewing the latest issue of the Doctor Who uh, magazine. Diddle dee, diddle dee, diddle dee. The latest issue. Let's go! Diddle doo, bing! So, on the, the issue we have Grassroots. Lost Dalek Story Revealed. Return to the Giveaway. Stephen Gold. Goldaffer interview, Doctor Who official magazine. It is issue 536. April, we've got another issue, another bit of Doctor Who magazine to review another episode. Um, <coughs> from we have the two companions with Pet Child, and I can't remember the name of this one. Freak out! Da -da 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 -da. Ah, freak out! Ba bum, ba bum, ah, freak out! Do 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 ah freak out ah freak out do 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 ah ah freak out the macro terror line one and the year that transformed Doctor Who plus freezer headlines mm, some other things right shut. So welcome, welcome. So in the Godfrey and Guardian this week, welcome to the Godfrey Guardian. I am your Godfrey Guardian host, Beatrice. In the uh, Bob, sorry, my Beatrice is my half sister. In the Godfrey and Guardian, I wrote myself. A new mission to the unknown. The 1965 Doctor Who study mission to the unknown, which is missing from the Doctor Who from the BBC archives, has been remade by student staff and guardians at the University of Central Lancashire. Single episode of Adventure by Terry Nashville, which acted as the prologue to the Daleks' monster plan, 1969-66, is it available? Is it available? Is it re-available? Re-available. I said re-available. In 2026, under the under supervision, it says the digital creative are recreating this mission, missing Doctor, missing episode have been given all of us here at UCLAM a fantastic insight into TV production from the 60s Andrew Tall did you want to do it once recorded we completed we had decided to author it in the creative process that can as be possible hook this gap in the archives and now when can we get it when can we get it there's a virtual reality doctor over there the virtual reality. But when can we get the missing episode? Leaving our legacy. <gasps> I never got to do a video on it. Oh no! <coughs> Leaving our legacy. Tim Rebel has announced. And the online game Doctor Who Legacy has now closed down in 2013 as a free to play game to come with the show's 50th anniversary Legacy went on to include every in of the Doctor Who and many companions. The game can still be played offline but will no longer be available from the App Store. Early than delighted box there in the early Avengers series way to celebrate Bill Physical Day. So the return of Sil S I L just to clarify. It is returning back and Phillips confirmed that meets 
May Franza once again, but given to Pickle, and he find himself will be for the last time in the sixth drama in the set to, to release on the on DVD and the movie for Notch Media on Fourth November twenty and the movie will be limited for only a hundred copies can be re ordered from Girls Don't Country here on Amazon. Doing audio stuff with else. That's it. That's it. That's all we've got time. That's all we've got time for this week on the Guardian. 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 Goodbye. <coughs> Tom Mason's back with another page. Welcome back. I'm your host, Kim Ferry, and I'm back with Tom Mason. Hi. Hi. In the Gallifrey informs this week. No idea what I'm doing from your viewers and the world of Doctor Who. Actor Clive Swift, whose Doctor Who roles include Mr. Copper in Voyage of the Dam in 2007, died on the 1st of February, shortly after we received a message from former showrunner Russell D. Davis. Russell T. Davis emailed, I was very sad to hear of Clive Swift passing Come back to where we belong Where the eagle cry Those mountain high Come back Clive Swift where we belong So sad you come when the eagles cry, the no mountain high. Oh, oh! Call the doctor, Chester. How wonderful was it to see a clip of the 1964 Doctor Who story that Amazon popped up on a call of the midwife? Oh. Call the midwife. So an episode of Doctor Who. Right, I've heard this. I've heard this. Oh, oh. Episode of Doctor Who called the Antarctic pops up on Call the Midwife on Sunday the third of February, ensuring that the two shows now officially exist in nature of this universe. It's fantastic to see Call the Midwife return the favourite uh, after Bradley Walsh's Graham revealed that he's a fan in the Torgonna conundrum that I think we call all synopsis of system right in who tube this week in this issue we have this issue section of who really videos so I am gonna do a separate video on calling the midwife of the whole easter egg of Doctor Who being in it, so I'm going to try and find that clip. In Who Do Related This Week? At the Radio Times cover party, former showrunner Russell T. Davis and Steve Muff talk about their time working on Doctor Who. Pete Capaldi gives an emotional performance in a new music video for Louis Capaldi's single, Someone You Loved. Somebody you used to know, somebody, somebody didn't have to call me out. No, no, that's the wrong song. Uh, which Pip McCody's Mac video introduced for the Woman Who Lived panel at Gallifrey One Convention in LA on the 17th of Feb. Here's a section of the out from the outings from filming the trailer for the 1993 Junior Needs Special Dimension in Time. Bradley Walsh attended Britain's Condies opening night, start, starting in 9 to 5 the musical, and fans got t the two actors mixed up. Sorry about the interruption there, like the interruption. No matter where we belong. That's the page if you watch your. Next. 
page. No, I thought that was Minecraft there for a second. It's more of the uh, Gothic reforms on this side. Uh, the evolution of Doctor Who. Nothing much. What's on beyond the tide? Keeping up with the cast and crew activities away from the series. Classic Doctor Who. Tom Baker is kind of the voice of Big Brother from the one-off stage production of 1989. So, Tom Baker is kind of the voice of Big Brother. Right, Abe Audible. David and Billy Papa read Audible's order to. Okay, 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 on Stephen Moffat and Mark Gates' Dracula for BBC One slash Netflix with Gattis among the cast that chatted about the show at the Radio Times Covered Party on the 31st. Ooh! Scared me. Patrick Trout has scared me on the next page. Let me show you the next page. I'm not going to read it because... Well, I am going to read it, but I'm... Say you want a revel, say you want a revolution. You know, it, that's the uh, Beatles reference there. Because it says here, say you want a revo revolution, look. Say you want, say you want a revel, well, say you want a revolution. You know. I'll read you this page. Doctor Who of 1967 was very dif different from the series that had started just a few years earlier. But how exa exactly did the Wanderer... Uh, I've seen the page. Let me just get the back Come back there, yeah, blah. Right. We've learned that the Doctor did indeed drop out of his own society. Yep. Ah. Little page of here is full cast audio drama from Big Finish Productions. From the world of Doctor Who. Sophie, Lisa, Louise, Alex, Niv, Niv, Ingden, Gemma and Capo. Celebrating International Women's Day. Out out on CD and DVD in March. The 8th of March. Basically, it's an ace. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to hits. A Alex Kingston played River Song. Ace. Can't remember those two. Ugh, just, right, try it. Comment down below all the names of all of these people. We know Ace is there. River Song's there. I can't remember her name. Her name. Or those two names. I know them two are from Unit. But yeah. Comment down below. Oh, that, that's uh, one of the four Doctor's companions. It's sort of reality. Yeah, I'm not gonna look at it. No. Oh, that was a black. Bad. The animated in an episode of Doctor Who. You get nine every issue. Right, so let me just get to the shop. I have to the shop bit. Not much to talk about in these few pages. I don't really want to spoil all of it. Right. 
this is the animated Pepsi Charlton episode because they've still got the audio for the episode but they don't really have the visual representation I'm just going to show you a bit of this Come back to where we belong. And you can still find first, second, third. You can still find. So, in comics, you don't really need actors, voice actors, so they've still got first doctor and second doctor stories in comics. So they've still got new light to the first Doctor. We brought him back in comic and audio form with David Bradley. Voicing him. The son of Doctor Who. Mark Troughton. Because we have another actor, another actor that's related to John Pertwee. Is his son. So in the Who shop this week. Signing news and new exclusive upcoming signings. John Leaven, um, the March Terror, the Macro Terror, signed by John Leaves, signed by, oh, that are signing, exclusive TARDIS, exclusive TARDIS gal gal Galaxy range, Ex exclusive bags and backpacks, new hats, socks, and Scarves, might have missed out the actual shot. Who tells your story? In the second part of a candid interview, the mark, the Blu-ray release of the Doctor Who. 1980-21, there is former script editor Chris Hayes, by never recalls the day he almost made Terrence. Terrence Richard cry. Right, let me show you the page. So he says, uh, me. I wanted Peter to be a slow reveal and I thought that was a brilliant way of doing it, put him in a box. That's always a clever idea. Put him in a box. I think that's a clever idea. Put him in a box. I think that's a clever idea. Put him in a box. And here you go. The shops over here, right? I'm just gonna quickly skip to the official shop for the week. I'm not gonna show you the my 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 favorite thing was a cracker. I'm gonna skip to the comic book right. in the Who One shop. I can't really show you it because the comic next to it. There you will be. Share their faith. From all things Doctor Who since 1989, Target, 
novelization all new there's a lot of novels so we also have Macra Terra First Doctor Adventures 3 a Sonic Spock Dalek Comic Teapot and TARDIS Teapot a BBC license prop replica TARDIS Time 40 ship replica there's Death Tiny and Umbrella there's a bunch of Doctor Who books Cosplay the 4th Doctor Season 18 costume Stum 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 Costum 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 The Whovian Chaser Hang on The Whovian Chaser The Whovian Chaser's in it One of the greatest YouTube, well, Chris B. Pearl's the greatest, the greatest YouTuber. Who the Addict is next? I'm on the list somewhere. I don't know whether A was ever spoken about this channel, the Mahuvian YouTuber. But here he is. Yes. The Whovian Toast. Julian Chaser Gridlock Which one of Martha and David telling the story The Fact of Fiction La 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 Bum 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 Gridlock in a very good episode I quite like the episode Very well I really do like the gorilla episode. Uh, it's not raining anymore, but it's supposed to snow tomorrow in the UK. More of a gorilla. Oh, those cat things. I don't know what the cat things are called. They kind of freak me out. But not really. Kind of, but kind of don't freak me out in a way. Uh, you don't want to buy that. These. But mainly the doctor version because they're like We have got illnesses of people in our grid. Hibernation chamber thing on the back. You would never find it doctor. But you do. Oh no. Oh there she is. Oh there she is. Oh, I've got that. Oh no. Oh no, really oh no. They've made an audio vision of New Earth. Those cat things give me the heebie jeebies. Left. No video home. And I hope right. The doctor makes a dangerous leap to another car. Post gridlock, the doctor who had met the macro again according to the terror but they yeah, Macron. 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 In the cover in there, uh, decide your own destiny claw of the Macron. No, no, they're the claws that came under in Gridlock. They're not the cats. Um, I've got the book, Claw of the Macron. It's a. They're doing a video then. Get it. What about that there? Got it somewhere in there, in my room. Oh, the cat. I was going to point to you. The, the scary cats. Um, they scary when they have the veils down. Oh! I'm not going to show you any of this. Ooh! The new issue of Doctor Adventures out. Ooh, Forever Island. See the Doctor and Ellie When they made a secret agent uh, Series 18 Review More about the Doctor Who Scratch Man Ooh! Alright At 
Film and Comic Con, 1st and 2nd of June, Birmingham, will be Arthur Darwin, who plays Rory, Stephen Bakoff, who was in an episode of Doctor Who, Sophie Aldrin, who plays Ace, Peter Purvis, who was in Boy Peter and one of the first ever Doctor Who companions, Rusty Guffey, Paul Darwin, Richard Franklin, who was in Doctor Who, Sylvester McCoy, Colin Baker, Lowen Goody, Guy Singer, Tom Robinson, who played Baldrick in Blackadder, uh, Roger Herter, Ian Reid, Adam Brussel, Sarah Godlin, Fraser Hives, who was in Doctor Who, Warden Robin, Laura Vandal, Helen Slayer, Plato, Mark Jackson, and Ian Wright. So the people that I would want to meet out of all these would be Arthur Darwin, um, Sophie Alden, Peter Purvis, Celeste McCoy, Colin Baker, Fraser Hives, Tony Robinson. I'll show you that page. A fantastic day out. Ale. Ale. It's the 1st and 2nd of June 2019, a weekend. Hmm, I don't know that one. What day is the 1st of June? The 1st of June 2019 will be a Saturday. We will only go the one day off. Here, yeah, I've got a wonderful line up because I do want to meet some people so I might say something. The moment I'm not out, I've got the crossword, I've got some prizes coming soon. Which we talk to the talent behind the upcoming Doctor Who releases, and yeah, that's it. Next issue Mission to the Unknown. And I've got, and then we want that at the back, which is the comic strip, was a TV show. I didn't know. So, anyway, guys, time on time out. Bye, see you next time. P.S. And um, since I've filmed the last clip, I've been downstairs and told my family I might be going to Birmingham for the Comic Con on the 1st and 2nd of June to go and meet all those people. I'll just grab it up now. I'll just grab this. What do you do? Let's get it up. I might be going to Birmingham for the 2nd of June. Might be going, so that's been the best news of the day. Tomorrow, to be a tiny bit of a video, maybe. Because I'm going to a uh, escape room for Doctor Who. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Time on tomorrow. Bye.